hey guys welcome back so in today's video we will be installing kali linux on our mac so the first step is to download the utm application so you can simply google utm for mac and click on this first link and now click on the download link and save the application now you can simply install this application as i have already installed this application so i am skipping this step the next step is to download the installer image file for the kali linux so you simply visit this website now click on apple silicon arm64 architecture and click on this installer file and download it and click save to download the file so once both the files have been downloaded simply open your launchpad and click on utm now click on create a new virtual machine click on virtualize and click other now click on browse and select the kali linux iso that you have just downloaded now simply double click on it or click open now click on continue now under hardware you can keep these settings as default again click on continue click on continue and click on continue again now this is the summary of your virtual machine now simply click on save now once the virtual machine setup is complete you simply click here so these are the system preference settings you click here you click on new and select serial so once the serial is selected click on save and click on the play button so now you will see that there are two windows so you have to select this small one and click here and press enter to install now select english now you can select your country so since i am based in india i am selecting india now select your language now this is the basic installation these are the basic installation steps so you will have to wait for some time So now you have to configure this network. So under host name you can leave it as it is and click on continue. I mean press enter. Now under domain name you can leave it blank and click uh, and press enter again. Now enter the full name for the username. I am keeping it webhub. For username I am keeping it as default. Now type in your password. Re-enter your password and wait for the installation steps so this overall installation will take around uh, 15 to 20 minutes so under part partition method you have to select guided use entire disk and press enter press enter again under partitioning scheme you have to select all files in one partition press enter again and finish partitioning and write changes to disk enter again now select yes and press enter once again so this overall installation steps will take around 15 to 20 minutes so you can follow these steps very carefully and make sure you do not miss any important step press enter again
so once the installation is complete you have to press enter to reboot the virtual machine so once the system has rebooted you have to simply close your virtual machine now once you have closed your virtual machine now simply click here and select clear now again go to the system preferences right click on serial and click remove so basically what this will do will it will so basically what this will do it will not force terminal to start again so that we can directly boot into the kali linux system so once you have removed the serial simply click on save once you have everything ready now click on the play button and you can see that we have already booted into kali linux now press enter now type in your username so since i have kept it webhub i am keeping it webhub and under password now click on login now your kali linux is ready so one last step is to install the spice tools so what spice tools so basically uh, spice tools are important so that you can use this kali linux on your full screen and you can also use clipboard and you can copy paste from your mac to kali linux and kali linux to mac so for this you have to click on terminal and type in these codes so it's sudo apt s u d o space apt space install space spice hyphen vd agent space spice dash now press enter now type in your password and type in y and click enter so once the spice tools have been installed you can you should again restart your virtual machine type in your username followed by your password and click login so now you can enjoy your kali linux and let's check if the clipboard is working so see yes the clipboard is working so if you want to use this on full screen you can simply click on this green button and your kali linux is ready so i hope you have enjoyed the video so do like share and subscribe also for uh, some systems this might not go to full screen so what you have to do is you have to come back to your mac and go to your display settings and change your resolution desktop resolution and then you can enjoy your kali linux in your full screen so thank you so much.